um, these jumper leads. Went to go jump start my car the other week, and I found that they had um, worn out around here. It often happens from them sitting in the backs of cars and things like that. And that end phrase, you go to jump start your car, and it doesn't work. The tools we're going to use today are flathead screwdriver, long nose pliers, and a knife. I'm going to try and keep all of the tools basic so you don't need a wide set of tools. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to remove this cover, this plastic cover here. So we're just going to get that straight, slide that back, and then we can see how it works. So now we're going to come in with our flathead screwdriver, and we're going to prise these open. Do it on a bench so that you don't destroy the um, this piece here so now we're left with that and we're going to go grab our long nose pliers um, and we can chop that off just like that now we're going to come along with our knife and we're just going to run it along the side there slightly we don't want to go too far because you don't want to cut into the wire. Now we're going to use our long nose pliers again. And we're just going to grab it there. And it needs to go a little bit more. You're better off to cut a little bit less than too much because you don't want to be cutting the wires. So we'll try that again. Now you're left with this. So we're just going to widen this here on the bench. And then we're going to come back, grab our cable. What we're going to do is put it back like that and slide it underneath these. Okay, once we have it here, we're going to come back, get our long nose pliers and start pushing these together. So we'll do one from this way and then we'll do one on top. Now we're going to have these hanging out the bottom and we're going to get our long nose pliers and use the cutting piece on them to chop it off. Now you're going to have it looking like that, clamped there, move this up on there, there you go fixed. 